Yakka Season 2! Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a Blackberry with a review for you, Blackberry Reviews! And today I'm reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Season 2 premiere of the Nickelodeon series. I'm gonna tell you the good, I'm gonna tell you the bad, and I'm gonna tell you the nerdy. In the season premiere, the turtles are excited. It's been weeks after the season finale where they beat up Shredder and the Krang, and they're just like, yeah, we're doing good, we can be lazy now, just sit back and relax. Splinter's all like, you need to be keep training, and they're like, nah, we good, Splinter, whatever. But then of course, Shredder comes back, the Krang shows up again, and they try to come back to Earth with a bunch of mutagen. The turtles try to fight them, but while fighting them, a lot of the mutagen gets poured out all over the city, which means we're gonna get lots of mutants in season two. I'm super excited. I expect some new mutants, and I expect some mutants that maybe we've seen before. If you want a preview of what season two has to offer, go watch my video of me talking about it when they had their presentation at Comic-Con. Secret! First, the good. No sophomore slump just yet. I'm looking at the season premiere is just as funny and just as action-packed as I remember the show. And I feel like the animation also got a little bit better. The backgrounds look still about the same, but it seems like the turtles are a lot more expressive. They got a little bit more color in their eyes. It seems like their mouths are a little bit more expressive. It didn't have that deadpan CGI feel. It was just like, hey, they're actually emoting a little bit. Turtles emote. It's also interesting to see what they're gonna be doing with April O'Neil this season. Someone very close to her has something kind of bad happen to him and when she finds out the Ninja Turtles are kind of indirectly the reason why it happened she gets mad she's like I don't want to see you again I'm done with you April out and this is a very interesting concept because I don't think they've really done this before in the cartoons April's usually like all right turtles are going on adventures I'm right there with them this is kind of interesting to see her being upset being like wow having these four giant mutant turtles in my life there's things that I don't want to have to deal with or things that happen to people that are close to me that I'm upset about because I have to deal with these freaking turtles and I feel like this is gonna be very helpful for the future when new characters show up. If season two is like this, then I think we got a good season ahead of us. Now for the bad. I know I've talked about in the past, Michelangelo comes off a little bit too jokey sometimes. I'm gonna keep saying that. But this time I have proof of when he does it well and when he does it not well. So there's a part where he gets dressed up like a fly because they're using him as bait to capture a creature. So Michelangelo figures that his way to contribute of him becoming a fly is that he has to start saying buzz buzz at the end of every one of his sentences. Hey dudes, buzz buzz, I'm a fly, buzz buzz. And I actually thought that was a very funny joke. It seemed like a very Michelangelo thing to do. Here's a situation that they're in and he feels like this is his way to contribute when it's clearly the wrong way. But there was another part earlier in the episode where they were talking about beating the Shredder and beating the Krang and he starts going on this whole tangent about a cottage cheese monster that he didn't fight. There's another time where they were saying you know what I've always thought about? And then Michelangelo was like, well, if cupcakes could talk? What? That came out of nowhere. That made no sense whatsoever. That's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about I think we're done with. One of the things that I think is even funnier is Raphael when he's messing with Donatello because Raphael knows that Donatello likes April O'Neil. We've all been there when you said it's a really dumb thing because you're thinking you're trying to impress the girl and it's bad. And Raphael is just right there to like smack down here around and be like, you just said that stupid thing. <laughs> like that's funny, that's comedy coming from the situation. I feel like they can do that same thing with Mikey and I wish they would do more of that kind of stuff. Like the buzz buzz thing, like more of that. Not just, hey, let's have Mikey say something weird and silly because that's comedy and little five-year-old kids will laugh at that. It's like if I was just having a conversation with you and then all of a sudden I put a shoe on my head. I mean, where does this come from? Why am I doing this right now? Makes no sense, right? And now for the nerdy. Make sure you watch the opening sequence very closely, especially there's a part when the turtles are running across the building. Seems like they added a little character in the corner, just like a little person that we haven't really seen yet. Kinda just wondering what's that guy doing there? I don't wanna say anything, say who it is, no spoilers, but you're just like, oh, why is that guy there just hanging out in a hockey mask? No spoilers. Wingnut makes a reference. You remember Wingnut? He was a toy from the old Turtles line. I personally remember him from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters on the Super Nintendo. I used to play as that character from time to time. I also love that they had to use a tracking device to find the Krang, and that tracking device looked like the very first Game Boy. It looked like the shape and <laughs> everything of like the old green and black screen Game Boy. So I thought, oh, that's kind of a neat reference. This thing even references the dramatic gopher. You remember the the internet for the win. I like turtles. This is gonna be a fun season, I think, so if they just keep that action, keep that good humor. I really love season one, and I'm looking forward to what season two has to offer. I'm guessing more turtles and Krang and Shredder and stuff. Now I wanna hear from you. If you saw Teenage Mutant Turtles season two, let me know what you thought about it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you gonna keep watching this show? And some of you have been saying that you want me to do a review of every episode as it premieres. So let me know, would you want an episode recap after every Ninja Turtles episode? If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments. If a lot of you go, yeah, then I might just do that. I love you like a play cousin. I'm out of 5,000. Ching chomp, yo.